Hello, everybody. And we're just drawing the nose some more. And I left off. This is episode 11, by the way. I am Mark Tamati, and you can find me at M A R K D underscore A R T S. That is Mark Darts. And we are going to continue riding this edge on the nose. This line is following the boundary of the nose. So we're going to continue editing this line here. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. This video series is severely cut up. I haven't been talking about that, but it's been obvious if you've been watching. But on the real spectrum of time, you guys might be getting maybe, I don't know, a tenth of the time that is put in because between the fast forwarding and the cutting, you definitely miss hours and hours of just sitting here, clicking and clicking and clicking and clicking. All right, so now that we have that line, what I wanna do is just wanna add one more right in the middle and we're gonna have to fix this. Um, but that's so I can create a fine line at the edge of the nose and this color will divide that and it will separate so that line will have this color. It will separate this this uh, line color on the nose. And that's what's gonna bring out the nose. It's the shadows and the lines uh, that make up the nose that will reveal 3D coming off of the face. And that's what we want. still wanna capture. I almost say capture because, as opposed to, I don't know, draw, or because we're just kind of boxing in uh, detail that we want to draw or that we intend to show so by boxing it in and then allowing us to put color there making sure we're following the way it flows using the lines on the face it will reveal itself in 3d and you're kind of taking like a snapshot of the detail that you see so it's an interesting uh, smoothening art style kind of like a you know the you know it's a realistic smooth surreal look so I think that's fine right now I'm just gonna fix this a little bit um, I'm gonna leave that right now I might have to move that later So now that we have that line finished, we're gonna have to find our next uh, shape that we want to make. But pretty much, I want to keep it smooth. So right now, it looks pretty good. Um, I think I might just want to add like one more in there, and then. Probably one more there, and then I'm going to reshape. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show this highlight. I'm gonna box this highlight in. But I think other than that, um, this is looking pretty good.
All right, so we're gonna quickly stop the fast forward here and I'm going to add a boundary point to close in this entire structure here so I can get sharp lines right where I want there to be a closure on the nose. And you're gonna see what that has done. And we'll correct the lines if we need to over here, but that's um, same intentions over there. So right now we're doing that little technique. I'm just going to do it right now just to blend these a little bit. Because I don't like how it looks right now. I'm going to match these colors. We're going to match these two colors. And we're going to match these two colors. So I need to add a point here. Because I need to be able to blend a little bit better. I have no points in there to distinguish a change between this point and this point. So it was becoming a little too apparent. Um, so now it gets rid of that. See how we went from that to that? Yes, you do. So I want there also to be a point just like that in between here. Because I'm not really getting a nice smooth blend from dark to light. And I don't really like that. This line is a little sharp, so I'm going to bring these out a little bit. Alright, so that looks a little bit better now. I'm just going to go back and correct these colors a little bit. I'm almost going to refill the color in the nose here. I'm not really happy of the shading that we had currently inside the nostril. So I think that's looking pretty decent right now. You can always go back and fix it. Touch-ups at the end. I'm going to save. These points are weirdly clustered over here, so I'm going to just clean these up so I can fix this weird color going on over here. And then I can be able to, then I should be able to move on, hopefully, to fixing the rest of the nose. So I think that's looking pretty nice. Got to fix this up here eventually. I'm going to fill in the rest of the color, but I also want to add this shape right here. So I'm going to just take advantage of that moment right now. So right now we're just getting the boundary of the highlight bubble that I want to again capture. I want to make sure I show this in the drawing. So I'm going to almost surround it in mesh to highlight the way the light travels around this area. It's because it's not going to just go up and down like the rest of these lines or in that and then we're just going to blend. This is going to be an area we're going to define just like the nostril. It's going to be something that's going to be part of the mesh. It's going to be smoothly blended with the mesh but it's gonna be a defined point of it, a point on the mesh. And we have defined points in the center and we just need defined points on the outside. I'm gonna make them a little further apart. I want it to be a, a smoother of a blend. So now we have a mesh like that. So now it's getting complex, but everything else seems legit. And we still have a smooth mesh.
So I'm just going to be a little careful when filling in the color over here. Just make sure I know what I'm doing because this is an important area we need to uh, have show. So I just want to make sure I'm selecting the right color. I'm probably going to need to fix uh, the boundary box to this because it doesn't seem right right now. Based on all the points that we've added, it doesn't seem like it... Um, well, I really, I really didn't add enough points anyway to do it, so now I gotta do it. But I still want to fill it in, and you can even see how hollow it looks right now without the the black. So that's a sign that we've uh, we've done good. So I notice I lose this little highlight right here and I do want to save it. Plus I do need a boundary line over here anyway. So this is how I'm gonna get this highlight to spread across the left of the nose. Like that, yeah. Perfect. Cause there's nothing stopping it on the left until here. So it should give us color to about the middle, which is gonna pretty much give a nice smooth resemblance of this highlight that we have here. So you can see how the boundary of the nose is giving us that nice, fine, but also smooth line of the edge of the nose right there. Seems a little wacky right now though. At least this over here. So I'm gonna move this back because it, I realized it was not giving me the tight line I wanted. So we're gonna have to make sure we have to keep this fine line here, but the color is getting a little messed up. There we go. I think that looks better. So I think we just have to fix, yep, like this right here needs to be filled in. Make sure we get that highlight over there. I don't really care for shaping this highlight right here. I don't really need to do that. I feel like if I just add a highlight right there, maybe top it off with some help over here. I'll kind of get the idea and we'll blend it. I don't know why those were that color. But it'd be fixed now. So I think this is looking pretty sharp right now. Pretty good. But we do have to smoothen it out. And once we smoothen it out, we can blend it with our faceplate. And then you'll have a great looking smooth drawing looking pretty identical to the face right now I mean obviously we have to fix it and we have to make sure it lines up with our lines here and then we match the colors maybe even drop some opacity so I'm just gonna start out by smoothing all my color and then we're gonna go from there So we're doing the right, we're doing the technique where we're going to the side of each point and we're selecting color. We're blending right now. So I notice I have like points on top of each other here just want to make sure none of them intersect, but it doesn't look like the color was showing that, so I think I'm good. So 
So even after a little bit of correction, I'm really kind of liking the vibe of the nose right now. You can even see where our blending colors are and our, and our actual defined noses, and it really shows. see that we're much smoother now it's looking really good and I could see where it's not so smooth down here but once we do that it's gonna look very silky I just don't want to mess up this highlight that we have here So before I go any further, I do want to say that I have to fix this harsh line here because as you can see, the next closest point to this horizontal line here is this one up here. So there's this harsh change of color right over here um, and we have to do something about that. So maybe we have to um, add another point directly in the center and then do some more color blending. Maybe I have to recolor this line and this line and then blend them together and then move downward from there again. Because once we get past that, we're fine down here. We're gonna blend this all together. Um, and we're gonna have to figure it out on the next episode of this grading mesh tutorial. It will be episode 12. Thank you for watching and I hope you are learning or watching and trying to learn, um, but my name is Mark Dematti. You can find me at Instagram, M-A-R-K-D underscore A-R-T-S, Mark Darts. Thank you for watching.